Hi, thanks for coming back to Domestic Devotions. And today we're going to cook a dinner meal and it's going to be a chow mein style stir fry with noodles. So you use 500 grams of a meat. So I'm using a pork mince today. And you can vary your vegetables depending on what you have or what you prefer. Uh, I like a low FODMAP style recipe. So I use two spring onions, but I take out the white part. I also use about 100 grams of green beans, fresh green beans. And I've just added in tonight some baby sweet corn uh, and two packets of um, shelf fresh Hokkien style noodles and they go in last. And I'll first mix up uh, the sauce that we use on top of the noodles. So for our sauce, we use about a quarter of a cup. And of course, all of this depends on your, uh, what you like in yours, whether you like less sugar or you want more sugar uh, or more soy sauce, it's completely up to you. But ours is about a quarter of a cup of soy sauce and I use just a simple glass jar so I can shake it all up and we've also got some rice wine vinegar and that's about two tablespoons that gives it a really nice flavor and then we have again two tablespoons of brown sugar which works really well and I love the ginger so that's about one tablespoon of grated ginger and we keep our ginger in the freezer in a Ziploc bag and I just simply just grate it in there, right there. And then we have some sesame oil. So one teaspoon of that gives it a really nice flavor. And again, being low FODMAPs, uh, I also use garlic infused olive oil instead of putting uh, whole garlic in there. And my family's favourite ingredient, and I can't quite, I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, but uh, sriracha sauce. It's, um, it's a little bit spicy. It's a chilli based sauce, um, but we have it in our family and the, our children don't like spicy food. So I put two, table, two teaspoons of this and it just gives it a really nice, oops, flavour. And that's the sauce base and I give that a good shake and that's pretty much ready to go to start the frying so we'll go over and keep frying okay so I've got some more of that garlic oil uh, infused oil and I'm just covering the base of my non-stick fry pan Okay, there's some bubbles in the oil there, so it's nice and hot on high, and I'll just pour in my minced pork. And break it up. You could do it in batches, but my family's getting hungry. <laughs> Leave it there to sit a bit, brown up. So it's starting to brown up now. Just a few pink bits left. And then I'll put some of the, well, all of the green beans actually. And the spring onions. Give 
that a bit of a mix. And then I'm also, because these are so huge for baby corn, sweet corns, they probably would have been better cut up. <laughs> anyway, I've never used them before, though will be a highlight of the meal. <laughs> Now looking at them, they need to be cut up. That's all right. You could put the lid on and let that steam up a bit. Right, after about five minutes of browning the meat and then another five minutes on the veggies, especially those massive baby corns, um, you're about ready now, if you have a look, for the noodles. There's a bit of uh, liquid from the, the meat, so I just pour in, you could break them up, depends what noodles you've got as to whether you need to soak them before, but these ones are really fantastic, they're fast, they're uh, super easy to use, so I can just um, mix them in. Now's the time to use your special sauce, and this is the secret recipe, because this makes everything taste awesome. Pull that in. It's beautiful and dark. And then mix it up. And that probably goes for another few minutes. Just coat everything in that yummy sauce. Okay, that's looking great, all mixed through and heated. So I just turn the heat off and it's ready to go. And the best thing about stir fry is that was like under 15 minutes. Thanks for watching.